What I'm going to do today is a, a repair on cracked ABS plastic. Uh, in this case, it'll be an older Chevrolet Suburban dashboard. Um, basically, ABS gets uh, damaged by the sun and the heat, and that makes brittle and it cracks, and it's pretty common on uh, some older cars for the dashboard to have cracks in it. This one isn't, isn't terrible, but it does have a couple of cracks, and I really wasn't having any luck with any of the uh, <clears throat> glue or anything like that. It didn't seem to hold it, but I stumbled across this, and I, I could not believe it worked, so I had to take a video and show you guys, guys how it works. What I'm also going to do is we're going to weld uh, some pieces together with acetone. And that's just acetone I have in a jar. Uh, and we're going to make a kind of a resin out of um, ABS uh, airsoft pellets. Six millimeter pellets, and I've got it mixed up over here. And then we're going to use that as like a glue on some pieces. See how that works. Okay, here are the plastic welding rods um, that you get from Harbor Freight. It says 50-piece PVC, but if you look, uh, it's actually PVC, uh, PP, and ABS rods. Uh, the white ones are the ABS. So what you'll do is you'll clip one, and these are about eighth inch in diameter, so they fit right in the collet of your Dremel tool. And you're going to trim it, you know, maybe stick it out an inch or so. You stick it out too far, it, it wobbles, and uh, at those RPMs, it'll bend it. And it'll never go back straight so uh, here's what we're gonna do I've actually already started done some of this uh, because I couldn't believe it worked so well I just kept kept on welding and you can see there's some of the weld there now if you really wanted to get fancy about it you take the dashboard off weld it on the inside and then you could use acetone to fill that gap uh, the little bit of a, a visible crack and that would probably make it pretty aesthetically pleasing but again I'm not Bob Vila or Jesse James. I just want my dashboard not to have cracks in it so the radio doesn't fall out. But here's how it works. All right, you just take it and you put it on the crack. And you can see it just builds up a little bead just like MIG welding. You kind of work it back and forth. And the friction of that ABS rod is filling the hole and joining the two pieces of plastic back together. And you can see it, it does consume the uh, PVC pretty quickly, but um, it's good in there. But you just uh, loosen the chuck up and slide it out a little bit more. And you can see I had two cracks and I welded most of them up. Once you get a good a bead going, you can keep on working it down. You can see it's pretty much one piece now. It's not flexing independently. So that worked great. I was really happy with it. Okay, for our next one, we're going to use uh, just acetone to glue these two pieces together. Uh, some ABS I had laying around. What acetone does is it actually breaks down the bonds uh, of the plastic and then it, uh, as it dries it allows the bonds to reform or as it evaporates I should say. Uh, and you can see I've got a slurry made up of uh, ABS plastic balls that I just dissolved in some acetone and that uh, gives you a little bit of thickness because what happens is if you're not, if there's any gap uh, between these two parts. Let's say you're trying to do them end to end. That would not acetone glue. Uh, but I've got this piece here that I've already done. That was just acetone. No filler, no anything. And it's, it's one piece now. I mean, you cannot get it apart. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that. Uh, the acetone, you just wipe it on and push the two pieces together. So what we're going to use is that slurry to show how you can fill a little bit of a gap. Okay, here we go. So I've already dissolved, uh, those are just airsoft pellets that have been dissolved in acetone. We're just gonna goop a little on there. This stuff does dry pretty quickly, so you gotta move a little bit quickly. Not, not you know, super fast, but you know, you don't have 10 or 15 minutes. You've got maybe four or five minutes. All right, we're gonna push them together as best we can. 
and I'm going to use my popsicle stick to kind of scrape off the excess. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it so you can see how much we've filled in. And if you wanted to make that joint super strong, what you could do is cut little uh, butterflies out of that plastic and lay them across it, little stitches going across with that paste. That would also be the trick. In fact, we can probably do that real quick. Let me cut off some pieces. Okay, so we've got some stitches cut off here. And you could do this if you were repairing, say, a dashboard on an old car. You could put these underneath uh, along with your stitch weld from the uh, Dremel tool and then lay these across that weld glued down with the, with the uh, ABS stitches and it would probably make it stronger than the surrounding dashboard material. Now on those it's going to crack again but at least it uh, it's taken care of for now. Alright we're going to let that dry and we'll come back and see how it turns out. Okay I want to do a uh, just a straight acetone glue up of this piece of ABS. I've cut it with a bandsaw. Uh, so what I want to simulate here is if you were to um, just tack it together on the back side, let's say you're repairing a dashboard and you want it to look cleaner than, than my install, this is what you would do. Um, let me get the new piece of ABS to put in the Dremel and we'll tack the back side and then we'll lay acetone in across the top and see if that allows it to uh, flow together. <clears throat> so here's loading a piece of ABS. There's the old one coming out. The stub left over. All right, so I'm going to do it this way, even though this is the nicer of the two edges. I'm just going to tack it together with this. It's going to be hard to do where you can see it. Okay, that side's tacked. We'll tack back here. We'll, glue. we'll go ahead and finish up this little stitch. Weld. Weld, I mean. Okay, we've got that welded up. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to fill this little crack with uh, acetone and see if that uh, softens that edge. The good thing about the acetone is, is it's wicked down into the crack. And it's about a million degrees here, so it's probably not going to stay on there long enough to melt the uh, ABS, but it might. It's drying pretty fast. Just working it across that seam. Now, if you do have a uh, paint or something on your dashboard and you're doing this, it's going to remove the paint. Um, sorry about that. That's just nature, nature of the beast. Okay, that's pretty well wetted up, and it actually 
if you look, it did a pretty decent job of filling the top side of that crack. Lighting in here isn't great, but uh, it definitely got rid of the, the sharp edges on that crack. There you have it. Here's the piece that we uh, glued up with the ABS homemade resin and the stitching. You can see it's pretty solid. It's only been drying for about half an hour, uh, maybe not even that long. But there you go. A repaired piece with uh, larger gaps in it. So that's what you can do. And clean that edge up if you wanted to. Again, that's just showing you how to fix it. I'm not here to make it pretty. So I hope this uh, video helped you out if you're in the same boat as I was. And uh, good luck to you.